this is what it looks like after you use it. Ugh. So today we are going to take a look at something that I just recently purchased with my own money and it's called the Bissell Crosswave. It's that lime green multi-surface vacuum slash floor washer. I don't think they call it like that, but that's kind of what I call it because that's what it does. So if you're interested in my honest review of the Bissell Crosswave, stay tuned because that's what we're going to do today. back. If we have not met before, my name is Tamara and this is Reimagine 50 Plus and I'm debating whether I need to change the name to 60 Plus now that I am. But anyway, it really has to do with being over the age of 50 and experiencing life in a different way than perhaps you did before. So that's what the channel is about. I like to share with you whatever it is I'm doing and my thoughts on it as it pertains to us as maybe we have retired or our children have grown up and have children of their own and we're grandparents or just we're a little older and so things are different than they were when we were in our 30s and 40s and so that's the focus of most everything that I do here, whether it's a beauty treatment that I'm having done for the first time, or maybe something that I am experiencing for the first time, and I'd like to take you on those adventures, or like today, where I'm actually trying out a new product. And I am not sponsored by this product or just about any of the products that I try out, because I feel like that gives me the best review. There's no money on the line. And also, I like to have something for a while before I actually review it so that you can hear some of the things that maybe I experienced while I was using the product. So most of you know, if you've been following along, that we just completed this big remodel of our bedroom. And in order to do that, we had to take everything out of the bedroom because we actually knocked down all the drywall and took it down to the two by four. So everything out of the closets, everything out of the drawers, all the furniture removed, all that to say, when we took everything out of the bedroom, we had to put it somewhere. So a lot of that stuff was piled up in my living room. And after a couple of months, I realized that my floors were filthy. So at that point, I had decided I was going to look into a new floor cleaner. Now I have been using in the past a Roomba just to do the, the sweeping of the hard floors. And then I also have a Sharp, so that was more for the wet mopping. So I started looking into what would be the best sort of all purpose and I read about and I heard about and I did a few reviews of my own on this uh, Bissell Cross Wave. Now, it will pick up wet or dry, but it is not a deep cleaning carpet cleaner. Just so you know, that's not what it is. It's like when you go to the grocery store and you see those Bissell big machines for deep cleaning your carpet or maybe doing your sofa, something like that. That's not what this is. This is really designed to be an all-in-one vacuum cleaner slash floor mop. Now, if you have one of those area rugs that you use for outdoors and you wanted to clean that, you could, but it's not really designed to clean rugs with like a soapy solution. That's the Bissell that you rent at the grocery store. Or maybe you buy one if you have a lot of that going on, but this is really a vacuum slash floor cleaner and that's what I wanted. So just remember that it does take solution and it is wet unless you just want to vacuum your carpet and then it does just that. So I want to go through sort of the process of what it does and how you operate it, and at the end, did I think it was worth it or not. It will vacuum and it will mop at the same time. Now, what does that mean? So if you're gonna clean up something, a spill on a hard floor, like let's say in the kitchen, the baby knocks over the cereal bowl and the milk and the cereal is on the floor, this will pick it all up all at once 
it is picking up liquid while it is sucking up like a vacuum. So it's very good about that. Now, in my case, I don't have any babies spilling anything, so I wasn't really concerned about that. I think one of the ads shows it picking up an egg. They drop an egg and it sucks the egg and the shell and everything up all at once. I wasn't concerned about that, but I did want to know if it would pick up and clean while it was sucking up the water. Because in the past, whenever I would use my shark, it always left the floor wet. So speaking of the shark, let me show you what I used when I used the shark. This is what you have to use when you use the shark, these pads, and they're all cotton. And these are two, they have a little corner attachment for the shark to get into corners. And then these square ones, this, ugh, this is what it looks like after you use it. Ugh. So you really have to run a load of laundry just to clean those cotton pads. And on the shark, you have to lay it down somewhere and put it on this thing. The shark was, it was kind of gross to use because I think it was just sort of scooting around the stuff on my floor. Whereas the Crosswave actually lays down the solution onto the roller pad and then the roller pad is sort of vacuuming the floor and the solution goes onto the floor and it allows it to sort of beat the floor and clean the floor better than just scooting around a, sort of a, a mop. And there is the solution in one tank and then there is the dirty used water goes into the other tank. And so whenever you add your solution, you add water and then you fill it up to the line. And there's two different lines that they show. One is for a small area and the other is for a large area. So you kind of can judge, okay, I'm just going to do the kitchen versus today I'm going to do all of my hardwood floors or all of my laminate floors or whatever you're doing. Again, you're not deep cleaning or wet solutioning on your regular pile type rugs, unless it's just one of those floor mat type things. So that was really easy. As a matter of fact, whenever I got the box, there was a coupon in the paperwork for half off a 32 ounce jug and free shipping on that too. Now, the other thing that I wanted to say is that there are three different models of this Bissell Crosswave. One is designed for pets. And the difference is that there is a pet roller and it's designed to pick up pet hair and it also comes with a different solution. Pets and you wanted a different type of cleaning solution than that pet version of this wet dry back is a little bit different. The other version of this is a cordless model and I have to say that of all the things that I noticed about this is that the cord is really long and it was constantly in my way because it was so long. So I think it might be worth it to invest in the cordless. Although when you have a cordless item, which I have a little cordless hand vac, when you have a cordless item, you don't know how long it's gonna last until you run out of power. So I would maybe do some research on that before I decided on the cordless, but that would be the one thing. Now, I will say that I noticed, let me just get it right in here so you can see. I noticed after I used it the first time that there was this little notch right here that I was able to put, still have to put the cord into this little notch and that kind of kept it out of my way. So I think if I'd really paid attention a little bit more when I first put it together, I would have said, oh, what's that little notch for? Okay, so back to the way it picks up. It really did clean my carpet. That's the first thing I did with it. I just used it like a vacuum cleaner and I vacuumed the carpet and it had a ton of fuzz in the bucket after I was finished vacuuming. And at first I didn't think I needed to empty that because I was gonna go on and do the floor. And then I stopped, I did a little bit of the floor and I stopped and I realized that because I had vacuumed the wool carpet, which is a low pile, but it's wool and it puts off a lot of fuzz, that now all that wool stuff was getting all matted and gunky and 
I probably should have emptied it. So at that point, I stopped and I emptied out all of that um, fuzz from the wool carpet. And then I went on and I did the floors. And I did not only our laminate flooring in this great room, the family room, I also went on and did the floor in the kitchen. Now my kitchen floor is, gosh, it's 20 years old and the grout is really dirty. And that's what I wanted to see, is how well will this really clean the grout? Now, I didn't expect it to clean the grout like when you pay to have your grout cleaned, but I did want to see if it put a little bit of dent in the dirt on the grout, and I think it did. It certainly cleaned the tiles. We have sucked it all up into the tank, and I noticed that because you have to empty the tank whenever you're finished. Something to be aware of is that that dirty tank is a little bit smaller, and it tends to fill up faster than you run out of solution. So you need to be aware of that. You can't just keep plugging away and putting all that dirty water into the tank. You're gonna to have to stop, dump it down the toilet. I felt like it did a really good job of cleaning the floors. And I think if you go a little slower and give that roller, that uh, beater bar, a chance to really hit it, it did a good job. Sometimes you have to let the appliance do its thing and not just try to rush it through the process. So I was happy about that. So then after you're all finished and you dump out the dirty water and the, the gunk, then you absolutely have to clean the machine. You have to because you don't want any of that dirt remaining and it gets up in the machine. So Bissell thought about this in advance, and they have a tray that comes with this, and you put the machine in the tray. It's like a docking station, if you will. You pour a little water into the tray, you tilt this back, and that allows the roller bar to engage. And when you push hard floor, wet cleaning, so you engage that, tilt it back, and it sucks up the water that's in the little docking station, and that allows it to send clear water through the system. And then you break it down and clean the tanks, take the roller brush off. As I had mentioned before, they have a special cleaning solution that is good for pets. But what I like about this is that I am not putting any additional sprays down on the ground as I am cleaning. And some sprays could be very toxic for the pets, so I don't have to do that. So this is not the case here. You're not reusing the water like you would a mop and a mop bucket. You're not additionally spraying and nothing really gets soaked. Now up here on the handle, let's see if you can see this, there is the trigger and it's underneath. And so when you are doing the wet cleaning, if you pull the trigger, it sprays the roller bar and wets it with the solution. And you only have to turn it on or off up on the, on the top with those two top buttons. But the trigger underneath is how you get the wet solution. So that's all very easy. It seemed to maneuver around things. As I said, my carpet is not a thick pile, and so it was not especially hard to push through the carpet when I was just vacuuming. So that was all very easy to do is important and it's important to dry it and in their little uh, brochure telling you how to clean properly they show putting it out on the patio or on the grass or someplace to really get it thoroughly dry before you put the appliance back together now it's not difficult to do but it's you know an extra five ten minutes of your time every time you use it so what i've been doing is trying to do everything at once so i do the kitchen floors i vacuum i do everything at once so that i'm only cleaning the whole apparatus and then if i have a, a minor spill or something like that i might just sweep it up or use my little hand vac until i'm ready to do a full-blown cleaning now if i had kids at home or babies then it would be a different story i probably would be using it a lot and then you would want to consider that would you want to clean it every single day that you used it? It's certainly easy enough to do it, but it's just one more step of taking care of the appliance. Something to consider. So at the end of the day, what do I think? I think that it did its job very well. It was easy to use. It was not overly expensive. It Now it's not you know a $39 piece of equipment, but it was affordable. 
and especially if you take care of it, you'll have it for a long time. Again, I'm not sponsored in any way by them. If I were going to buy one today, if I didn't have this one, and I knew what I know now, I think I would buy the cordless. Only because I seem to fight with this cord and whip it around and get it out of my way every time I use it. Other than that, I have no issues. It's working well. It doesn't seem like it's made cheaply. It seems like it does its job and it does it well. <laughs> you know, at 60, I have been vacuuming and mopping and cleaning for a long time. I think this is probably one of the easiest to use mops, vacuums that I've ever had, other than the Roomba, but the Roomba does not mop. But at the end of the day, this one really does everything and I think it was worth it. So I hope that that was helpful to you. Hey, thanks for joining me this week. If you haven't subscribed, I really appreciate it. And if you have other friends that are over the age of 50 and maybe would enjoy this, I would love for you to share my videos or share my channel with them in hopes that they will join up and subscribe too. Still trying to grow the channel. So thanks for watching and I will see you next Thursday. And by the way, I think one of my upcoming videos is going to be to clean the grout. That's going to be a big deal, but I'm very interested in what products work. So stay tuned for that. Okay. Happy summer. I'll see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.